absolutely. So this is a this is a this is another like unconventional team because yeah. you don't see a lot of Wario, no, and you don't see a lot of Falcon nope. high up in the bracket. Therefore, when when you're looking at grand finals, you don't expect Wario Falcon. I don't. I have no idea how the meta for this team actually looks. Okay, who's so fishing for grabs? Who's stop tanking? I've played against this team thrice uh, two weeks ago at a Dutch uh, national. So winners finals and twice in grants, and uh, it's a surprisingly strong team. There's Falcon who has a lot of speed to open up the game, and that bike can just go through all the action and really break up any sort of sticky situation for Falcon. And both of these characters being heavyweights really does a lot for them in doubles. Yeah. It means especially when you're up against like Sheik and Falcon, uh, Sheik, Sheik and Cloud, who both kind of has issues with rage. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's a very strong boon. Yeah, especially with things like pit players like shit, you can get caught with an unlucky F smash yep. with by a Rage Wario and it's over. That stock is gone. Cloud, you hit him with Rage once, he's off stage. It's going to be a really sticky situation right there. And look at this, Glutiny and OG double spike, and they poof recover. Just like that, the red team taking an amazing lead right now. And look at Ogi, still dominating the neutral all on his own. Blue team kind of in a sick situation, and blue team immediately converting right there. Let's see if Ogi can hold on to his first stock for a while longer. Already got a good percentage lead going here. Blue team, especially Sheik, is going to have to look after her stock very, very soon. And look at that, the fart landing on Cloud, not going to be a kill, but that was a pretty tough situation. However, Kitsu, very strong Cloud, going to make it back without any trouble. Oh, wow. Catching his partner briefly there with an up air. That up needs to be careful with that up air, so large. Yeah. Ooh, Falcon diving his own partner as well, is descending into chaos on this right hand side. And look at that! Oh, Out of all wow. the chaos! Shining a wizard across the stage! <laughs> he catching him with that knee in the jaw! I mean, <laughs> Captain Falcon is the master of chaos! <laughs> yeah! Right, but in all of in amongst all of those hit and hurt boxes, he yeah. found that knee. That knee. Uh, in the in the midst of the chaos. Sora gonna catch that. Sora gonna catch that up here, take a stock of his own. And that was actually really well done. Looking at the percentages now. Blue team was behind a lot, but right now it's looking very, very doable. If they take that Ogi stock, and if Jackie works on staying alive, yeah, this should be very, very doable. Yeah, it could be be a, it could be a much closer game than it's looked so far. Anyway, there we go. There goes Kipsu, just sort of dominating the middle of the stage. Nobody else in this game really has hitboxes that compete with Cloud, so. It's up to him to move and the red team to play reactively. And then you have Jackie sat behind him, ready to cover any overextensions. That bouncing fish not going to take him off of the top right-hand corner. Ooh, nice combo by blue team. Getting a lot of damage on Glutiny. And if they get that Ogi stock, that Glutiny stock is looking really, really tough. And here it is. And this is the moment of truth. Who is going to lose their stock first? Gibsu using that limit is going to be a key turning point for yeah. sure. There we go, but he's not gonna he's not got the opportunity to charge it as of late. Nope. But, but you can't just leave Sheik to uh, stock tank and sort of guard you on his own for long because Sheik can just get melted yeah. quite easily. And one thing that is worth mentioning is that Fart is on deck. Oh. So that might Oh okay, so that's <laughs> not one anymore it's not stock. <laughs> Not anymore, nope, and that is Glutiny kicking the bucket and it's all up to Oji. Yeah. Now I feel like Falcon can do this with some with some maybe unoptimal options. Oh, oh no! Now it's one on one. It's Kipsu versus OG. This game is completely even, 83 percent to 84. But we've got a limit cloud. Reading that, going for the Woo! reading. The OG gets a bit fortunate with his Kipsu's get up there. So trigger happy with the limit, and it's just not working out for him. Bad read on that with that F tilt. Now he's off stage against Captain Falcon. One hit kills him right now. Definitely a lost hit scenario here. And Ogi, nice movement and the jabs into the grab. So rude. Kipsu looking really shook. Gets the first hit of Nair. Nothing effective. Woo! 
Oh my wow. goodness, that up air lasting forever. Gotta get him out of that bad situation. OG, very smart getting off the ledge. OG's being so patient. Jab, 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 wait yep. into grab. That is a fearless option against Cloud. There we go, Who does it again, that? does it again. Oh, OG. Not gonna kill. Not quite. Not OG, he's still living. Let's him burn the limit to get back to the stage. Now this oh. is a Oh my god, and the dash attack on the shield drop, barely edging out that game. And that is a heartbreaker from that dash attack, hitting his team partner, killing Jackie at way too low of a percent. OG making it back from the dash of hell. Yeah. Very strong first game to settle the board. But a very it was a very good game in the end because we at, yeah. the, at the beginning it was going one way, but in the end it came down to that 1v1, 150% each, over 150% each. That was a super close game, more like that please from both Please, teams. yes. Wow, the red team pinned back to the ledge almost immediately here. Oh, look at all that damage tw twice. Well, on all three players, yep. however. Kips, uh, Jackie took some of that brunt as well. Fair enough. However, I'll take that two hits for one. Oh, I really, I love those teching, teching Falcon dive off the wall into punish Falcon dive yep. from Jackie there. Just shows that you're ready for the matchup, whatever's going on. Exactly, and that is one of Jackie's specialties: that preparation, that readiness. He's always mentally there and ready to perform. He knows what your options are exactly. as well as his. Anyway. OG looking looking to punish a low recovery Ooh, from Kipsu there. Ooh, Kipsu. Nice safe right there on Jackie. Barely diving, dying. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Back here is going to seal a stock right there. Off of his own partner, I think. Yep. And yeah. once again. That's it. Uh, Kipsu needs to be like, needs to start being careful yeah. with these hitboxes because they're, they're costing his team. Yes, However, he... Jackie, on the other hand, does need to give Kipsu the space to play his character yeah. because Cloud does need that room to use that those hitboxes properly and if Jackie is too close he is going to get hit sometimes that's just a little matter of synergy and not just Kipsu uh, this is true. Up. Anyway, Jackie pressuring OG at the ledge nothing explosive coming of this so far full rage limit that's looking uh, looking tasty yeah up air is up looking to take stocks at 90% oh yeah oh yeah anyway they had a brief two-on-one situation that they didn't press on the ground right there while OG had to recover. And Jackie probably looking for that grab on OG right now. That will end in a kill, but yeah. the bike, the such a strong lasting hitbox. The problem is, is that the red team know it, but Ooh. that bouncing fish is going to take it. The fishmonger is oh, missing. Oh no, I Jackie! Suppose. No! Jackie kind of messing up right there, leaving Gipsu to fend for his own. Not gonna do. Not gonna be favorable for uh, for the blue team right there. <laughs> no, no. <it's> <laughs> anyway, there goes the grab. But now, unfortunately, Wario too low percent to get any sort of significant com conversion off. Instant accidental footstool off of that grab right there. I'm waiting for the fart. <laughs> there we go. Keeping Wario off stage, so he's got less time to Ooh. make that part happen. That was so close. And nice little kill by Jackie right there. This is much better from the blue team right now. Yep. They seem to have gotten themselves together. Ogi going for a super low dro uh, low dare right there. Kipsu managing to avoid. Once again, the bike, just such a strong lasting hitbox. Oh, now and it's the red, yeah. red team's turn to ki team kill. So many hitboxes everywhere, and stocks are flying left and right. Uh, I win. I win every raffle. <laughs> um, yeah. So this time, Jackie sent off into his disadvantage. Red team using this time to pressure. We recently oh, and a finishing touch just like that, just and out of nowhere. Four See, stocks on the blue team side. This is looking like a dominant game right now. Yeah. Seems like they've really reversed the tide of momentum here. Keeps you dropping super far down. They won the first game. Right? Uh, no. They won the first game. Oh, he found himself so high. He found himself at that deadly percent where Falcon's up air is going to kill. Still an absolute mountain to climb. Coming yeah. Back. Even if he starts building up ahead of steam. Oh, oh wow. Ooh. The dare is going to finish it off. Jackie Just doing like it in that. style. Yeah. No. no mercy even if you're playing, uh, if you're not playing a top tier. Jackie, that downer. We've been seeing it more and more from Sheiks. We've, we even saw Mr. R 
Pull that one out at Seneca versus Ken. I don't quite understand how it works as a two-frame. The hitbox hits super far behind him. Yeah, it's um, weird. It does. It's one of those things that when I first I first started seeing Sheik going for it, and I just assumed it was an input error for like the first thirty <laughs> times I saw it because I never saw anyone hit it. And then I then I saw somebody die, and I was like, Oh, wait, this is a good move. <laughs> this is a, this is a thing. <laughs> anyway, we've already we've a bloodbath here on Final Destination. Always. Look at this. Gudney already at 60% in a matter of seconds yeah. and pushed into the corner once more. Even with Falcon speed, it's just so hard to break the game open. Yeah, absolutely. And you find that Sheik's uh, aerial dominance, Sheik and Cloud as a whole just rule the air. And yeah. when you look at it versus Falcon, Falcon only really has up air that he can answer with. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, while Wario does have the airspeed, his aerials themselves just aren't that strong. In yeah, absolutely. And Sheik, fair, absolutely going to dominate. Oh, you yeah. take to the air against Sheik. Ooh. And you just saw it happen. He took to the air against Sheik. He got by, hit by a fair and a bear at the same time, I think. Here we a go. lot of near kills right now by the blue, blue team. However, finally going to get that first stock on deck. And F Falcon looking to follow right now. However, good recovery by Ogi. Doing a nice little curve around the Sheik hitboxes. Indeed. And Kibzu finding himself, he rolled in between both red team players there. I don't agree with that option in the neutral in doubles sometimes. When everyone is in that quiet phase, you just suddenly put yourself on either side of you and your opponent. Yep. Granted it does the same to the uh, to the opposite your opposite number on the other team. Puts them in between you and your partner. Yeah. But at the same time, I, I maybe I'm a bit more defensively minded in this case. <laughs> Our down smash in the neutral nice. going to take a stock there from OG. Another down smash into a lot of damage and Jackie He's still sitting on, on his third stock. We, uh, on, on his first stock. So we're seeing them reverse the the, yep. the stock tank roles yep. between partners just on a whim, depending on who they're playing. And Ooh. I want I would love to know what determines who is going to hold the stocks for this game. Right now, Jackie already dropping that one stock, and he still is the healthiest member on the on the field right now, but. That is a Sheik, and look at that wow, the shield break. break because of the bouncing fish and into a kill. Kipsu just with a perfect punish. Very well done by the blue team right there. Very, very strong combination on that shield right there. Oh wow, catches him off the bike with a bouncing fish as well. That is going to put the blue team even further ahead. Yeah. Now what I want to know is during that shield break situation, oh Waft is going to put them uh -huh. put them slightly back on the level terms. Yeah. We're still one stop behind, but it's not, not looking so bad for them anymore. Definitely not over unsurmountable for the red team right here. And look at this nice oh. combo! The oh. bouncing fish into the fair spike. Just give Cloud, dude. He only has three spikes to deal with. This is true. <laughs> now, how on like that fair? I find this. It's so hard to get the spike hitbox. Yeah. I find it really difficult, personally. Now, to get it off of a partner's throw, not That's something impeccable. you yourself yeah. you set up. It's something really good. And it's looking like a bracket reset. And there it is. Wow. TK Ho and Gibsu. 3-0 in grand final set one. That is bracket reset. <laughs> bracket reset for what I'll begin to call Team UK right now. <laughs> GP expressing his uh, expressing his desire for how he wants this set to go. I won't I won't I won't indulge the stream in GP's bias. <laughs> if you know GP, you know what's up. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> Absolutely. So what I want to talk for a second there is something we were talking about in the previous game right. is uh, like the ground speed of certain characters. Now, uh -huh. during that setup where uh, there was a there was a cross slash and a shield break, Gluttony took so long to get over to support yeah. his teammate, despite his air speed and despite his and but, but mainly because of his ground speed, he couldn't get over and support his partner. There was so they had so long to decide what they were going yep. to do with this poor shield broken individual. There was like Gluttony just couldn't do anything to get over, and that was a shield break. Yep. However, that limit cross slash hitbox being out, plus the bouncing fish going over it. It just makes it really hard for Clinton to do anything about it. I don't, yeah, I mean, I mean, not during the the thing that caused the shield break. I right. mean that while his partner was stood there days. Yeah. They had a, they there was a period where Sheik just stood up and sort of walked to the other side of clouds. <laughs> <laughs> However, getting into game number one of set two, both both teams in loser's side right now. Now we want to want to see if uh, the red team can start shift this absolute run of play that the blue team are going on. 
So far, it's not really working out for the red team. Uh, look look at these percents, like the blue team has hardly been touched, while the red Absolutely. team already bleeding. Look at that OG dropping his first stock already. It's looking very, very tough, and adaptation really needs to come in soon, or yeah. it will be too late, I'm afraid. And they indulging Cloud and Sheik in the chaos of mid-screen. Not really working yeah. out for them so far. Would not recommend. <laughs> yeah. Collateral hitbox on Sheik's back throw, making OG shield look super, super small right now. What? What was that Kip do? What was what was that? I would say probably worth it. A uh, finishing touch with his partner, partner not anywhere really viably close. I think worth it in the neutral to see if he can catch something. It is super early days. But later on in the game when the stock start to get a bit more the stock start to get a bit more valuable, you'll want to start saving those yes. finishing touches for guaranteed throw conversions. Sheik, one of the best grabbers in doubles in general. If you need grab setups, Sheik is your girl. Um, Pikachu close second. However, Sheik at the end of the day, all that pressure with his short with her short ops. Um, I mean it's very easy to con condition your opponent into yeah. shielding to get that quite reasonably safe grab. <laughs> so a bit of double pressure over there on OG on the left hand side and that could be the something no not at all. Look at those rapid jabs into what was almost a Sheik combo. I liked the setup uh, execution a little lacking however also like the aggressive option to get out of it from Gluttony. Oh well. yeah, I'll beat. Throw yeah. it out there. Yeah. If you, th you think this is going to be free? No. No, no, no. There's a fart right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if that fart lands on Sheik right now, it's going to be yeah. over. And look at that up smash. Little did we know, Wario is part of the Mushroom oh, Kingdom. And he does have that disjointed head that all the Mushroom Kingdom characters have on their up smashes. Uh, the, the plumber up smash. Well, the, uh, the plumber up smash. The plumber up smash is uh, Peach. Does also have a very small sweet spot yep. that does end stocks. Yep. Oh, and the fart almost, almost making push, pulling this game much closer to doable. However, red team for the first time in the last uh, four games stock lead right now. This is true right now, and uh, that cloud can lose his stock very soon as well. Did yeah. he burn? He didn't burn that far on deck, did he? No. 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 Um, it's currently not. Char I don't think it's Ooh. currently charged. That is not gonna kill that downer. However, the up air is. And a nice little turnaround bike by Glidney, getting an extra little distance by dashing back and then punish it, punishing immediately with the bike. Very, very well done. Here we go. OG suddenly getting, finding himself going from the aggressive to being aggressed upon. Suddenly when uh, Jackie came oh. over to attend his partner. And there's that up smash you were talking yep. about. Gluttony taking that stock from Kipsu right and now. And look at Jackie's stock, uh, at Jackie's percentage right now. He's already bleeding. And that is his final stock. They still need to take Glickney's second stock. Okay. Oh wow, the, the follow-up from Jackie making sure it happened up yep. in the bluff zone. Up, up air is going to make it happen. Nice presence of mind by Jackie right there. And let's see if they can get a combo going. What Try happened to with equalize. that net? It went nowhere. Yeah. Too low. Too low of a percentage. And right now, Ogi and Jackie both really, really want to hold on to their stocks. I don't... You see Jackie just sort of taking a more backseat approach. Oh, he's getting hit with that JJ special Raptor, Raptor boost in the neutral. <laughs> there you go. Ooh, and Glutney hitting the wrong target, and Kipsu hitting the wrong target as well. And all these team kills happening this set, and this time around, it is in Red Team's favor. Let's see it's, if they can close it out this time around. It's not an awfully long okay. way back. Okay, <laughs> worth. If anything worth. was ever worth, it was yeah. worth. Yes. <laughs> So, Glidney and Oji making the adaptation happen, turning it around with a 1-0 lead in set 2 of Grand Finals. Yeah, so this is, the momentum is becoming, sort of moving in the opposite direction yep. right now. Yep. How, let's see if we can shift it back for Team UK. No character switches, I don't think. Um, all of the, Kipsu being the one of these uh, four players who I know has many characters under his oh, belt. Oh, Oji has a Greninja as well, but he hasn't been too keen on pulling it out. Especially uh, in doubles, right? Yeah, especially in doubles. However, I don't blame him. Uh, Captain Falcon has been working out pretty well for him. And look at all that damage that Captain Falcon is putting on Sheik. One grab, 28%. I just, oh, saw, I just saw a cloud uh, fully cross slash a bike. I think that if you could look at the hitbox viewer for this game, game at that <laughs> moment, you'd have just seen hitboxes and active frames for life. <laughs> Anyway. And nice dominance by Blue Team once again. Look at Blue Team's percent right now. And this time around, it is Kipsu covering Jackie a lot. Looking at those dash attacks, those back airs coming in clutch. Very, very well done. 
And let's see if they can actually push it through and end the first stock here. Absolutely. There we go. There's a Raptor boost sending Jackie into the path of Gluttony. Gluttony unable to confirm, but he oh, does catch an F smash in the neutral. actually kills as well. Gluttony with the expert spacing and once and again. again. He catches him with an up air, and that's going to take another stock from the blue team. The red team really showing that they, they are up for adapting in this matchup. Here we go, Chaos on the left-hand side of the screen. And Ooh. who just died there? That was Gluttony. Yep. Gluttony falling off the stage, apparently. Gluttony not really, uh, didn't really have a recovery option there. And unfortunate, however, it was his first stock. They still have that stock lead going on right now. Got the Falcon, not a light character. Um, can definitely hold a stock for a long while. Absolutely. Um, against most things in this matchup, some of Cloud's limit options will seal off this stock, definitely. Oh, yeah. Sheik Fair might have killed a lighter character at that point. Jackie oh, not ready to take there. Missing the tech and the finishing, uh, the, the limit cross slash timing not working out for Gipsu. And Oji over max rage right now, looking to end a life. <laughs> yeah. Like, when you look at. There we go. Oh, I see what he okay, was going okay, for okay. there. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Um, jumping back a little bit there might have been able to spike his opponent. So sometimes when you get up like OG did, just against Kipsu's limit cross slash, sometimes that's what you want. You need to get a little bit fortunate just to get yeah. up at the right time between Ooh, the slashes. Ooh, super armor going right through Cloud's back air. Not the greatest spacing by Kipsu. That really is going to bite him in the behind as Ogi is still at his first stock and they really needed that Cloud race to get that many more kill options on deck. Yeah. Okay, so OG, OG, OG is uh, starting to approach the range where Sheik Fair is going to start killing. <laughs> and this is when you know you may have fa failed at killing somebody as a player. Um, yeah, so he's at 196%, stock tanking for his life. His partner has died twice. There we go, there's yeah, the Sheik Fair yeah. going to take it. However, look at Sheik stock and even Cloud. So easy to push Cloud off stage at these percents. And Lushni and OG are really, really in prime position to take this game. Look at yeah. that, that's the back air, and now it is just Cloud against the triple stock on red team, and that's yep. the up smash with the invincibility, coming through 2-0 lead for Team France. That's take it, That's gonna take it right there for the red yeah. team, and what I think was key to that is OG in his entirely just surviving for oh, so yeah. long. Now when OG survives for so long, not only do they keep a stocks, he gets rage, he also, his partner also spends less time alone on the stage That's being true. double, te That's double teamed. Um, and that really came in key. And the mental damage you have when you're when you're one versus two, looking yeah. at three stocks down the barrel, you're not really going to come back from that. Most players aren't anyway. Okay, let's take a look at this game three. Is blue team going to answer back or is this going to be a victory for the French team? And look at that, OG already. Ooh, Savagely ham. handling that stock in 10 seconds. The forward smash was enough to make the gimp happen and Gipsu not looking too crispy right now. Yeah, this is not how you want to be looking if you want to reverse momentum and reverse the fact that it's tournament game for your opponents. Oh wow, come on grab on Cloud, is oh, that going to no, end it? Again. Oh wow, Wait, what are you burning your jump for? <laughs> no that was just... Brutal. Red team going absolutely ham on the blues right yeah, now. Yeah, they were like, by the way, uh, we can gimp Cloud. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh. Oh, but oh, did did you remember? Um, Cloud, Cloud has a bad bad recovery. recovery? Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Oh, wee wee, I forgot. C3, C3. That's that's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, but no. that was just really, really well done by the red team right there. Yeah. Uh, two amazing gimps and B. To be bleeding after one minute is just a bad, bad look. And right now, Cloud's on his, Cloud's on his last stop. We do have Jackie yeah. tanking. We're, we're only, like, the Blues are only really one stock behind. But it's the momentum just looks yeah. so fiercely in favor of the French right now. And that fart, once again, Kipsu, he has to share stock already. Yeah. So, you saw the blue team right there in that exchange get scattered to both sides of the stage. It was just a spectacle. To, it was yep. just a nice spectacle to see. Really tells the story of how this game is going. This entire set is going. The loser side set of this grand finals. Oh, look at OG with all the grabs just throwing everyone around. However, Kipsu. Kipsu, yeah. That still is Cloud. That still is one of the best answers in the game. And Jackie as well. Jackie, the yeah. Evening up the stock count, actually. Look yeah. at that. It's not so... I don't think it's as far behind as we've been making out. The blue team can pull this back. It's definitely within their capacity. However, it all depends on how well this limit is going to land right now. 
So, another thing that can happen for the uh, blue team right now is Cloud jab one two three into Sheik up smash right, yeah. combos right away, and that's a good. That will be a very good way for this team to take stocks. There we go. Oh, the Nair on his partner. However, this time Jackie is gonna survive. Ooh. And Gluto <laughs> grabs him out of the grenade throw. Said no. No, you don't. No, no. you don't. <laughs> no, we don't. We don't do those in France. <laughs> <laughs> we don't. We don't. We don't stand for those. Oh wow! Turning around, getting ready to back air, goes clean over his opponent. But the red team's staying in firm control right now. Let's see how the blue team's gonna make this happen. They need a miracle and a fart. I think that was a half waft. Ooh, yeah, that was a half waft. However, the double up smash. And now it's now this is Jackie. Tournament stock gets two frames. Ooh, but it'll be almost almost got killed into taunt, but there it is. Okay, Ooh. there it wasn't. But they <laughs> they're looking for the knee setup to take the tournament with. They can't get too complacent, even though it's a very long way back for Sheik. Jackie is a very optimal player. Oh yeah, this is oh, oh spiking his up. own partner, tried to save his own partner and killed himself. Okay, no, okay, he's still okay. alive. He's okay, still alive. Still there. Wario does have a lot of distance on his recovery, and as long as he holds on to the stock, this should be fine. And there and that it is, is gonna be Invincible it. Off Smash, that is going to round it out. French team winning doubles here at that Blast 24. This has been fantastic. Uh, yeah. Fantastic doubles top eight to commentate. Sure. It's been a pleasure commentating you with you, Ramses. Yeah, same. Thanks, Tano. Okay, it's, it's, it's always it's always a pleasure. And coming up for you now, we have all because uh, doubles was uh, slightly overrunning. I think we're going to get straight into pro, singles in the yeah, singles pro bracket, pro bracket yeah. which is going to be fantastic. Which I believe means there's a commentator switch in yes. bounds. Yes. I don't know if you are in the first single. No, I'm 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 in the top four for pro bracket. So okay. we're gonna have to hang tight. I'll be back with you guys though later on today. Uh, before now enjoy the next round of commentators. Guys, thanks for listening. Hang on tight. We're gonna get the singles going right away. Thank guys, you very much. My name is Ramses with me is Itano Circus. Guys, stick around and stick bye bye. Around. just watched out the grand final of the doubles there with Gluttony and Ogi taking it in some emphatic fashion. Always love to see those guys play, but uh, we're going to be making our way onto the uh, main the main bracket of the singles. Uh, my name, my name, of course, is Bowie the Hero or Bowie Alexander, and I'm joined with my very good friend Bolby. Hello, sir. Hello, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. Before I start, is that not the best Christmas jump bike you've ever seen? Especially for UK Smash, where there are like a million Sonics. A million Sonics, Sonics yeah. It's very relevant. It would only be better if you main Sonic yourself. I don't, I don't want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I think I have it. It's really weird having this here, but because we haven't got the sound being fed through here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like this, this is redundant because all it means know, is right? that we just can't hear ourselves. It's cool, man. Um, it's like a chain. But hello, look at this. Look at this incorrect lower third. Should be capital Bowie, lowercase the capital yeah, hero. But it's. They got mine right. They got yours right. Uh, my Twitter is actually Bowie underscore Alexander as well, so it's whatever. Was, wasn't it Bowie the Hero at one point? Well, my full tag is Bowie the Hero. I see. But my Twitter account is Bowie underscore Alexander because that, that, that's my stage name as a presenter. Ah, uh, yes, a freelance course, yeah, presenter, yeah. by the way. Um, it's been a while. I haven't done commentary for Smash for a long time. You haven't been here for a very long time. I've been busy. It's good to have you back, man. Thank you very much. It's good to be back as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. The, the, the reason I moved out, out of London, so it's hard to get in, obviously, and see everyone as much as possible. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, now that we're back properly, it's yeah. uh, time to actually kind of, you know. Yeah, that's good, man. That's I say good. back properly. I'm back for now. We'll see how. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. 